YouTube. Happy Friday. It is Christine here with Gage Girl Training, online meal planning and coaching service. I am a food scientist, chemical engineer. Check out my mug. It's got this like pocket here where it just makes it so nice to hug and hold my nice cup of coffee. And really excited to talk to you guys today because today we are talking about how fast can you lose body fat. And I'm really excited about this topic. There will be zero sugar coating here. I'm going to give you guys honest, realistic answers. I'm gonna tell you guys every nitty gritty detail of exactly what it takes. And I'm gonna leave behind no crumbs. So I'm glad that you guys are here. Um, once you guys start joining this live stream, please comment where you guys are from. I would love to know where you are from. And I would love to know how you found me. I would love to know how you found me. Um, or what video of mine brought you to the channel. So the first thing I'm going to ask you guys is to please give us a thumbs up. Please comment and let me know where you're from. And also I'm gonna go through some announcements really quick. Announcements are today is the last day for the coaching discount for the next challenge. The next challenge starts on March 11th. That coaching discount is huge um, for one-on-one -on -one online coaching. Um, that is only $499 for a total of six weeks is the lowest price I've ever offered. We are also doing early enrollment discount for the next shred challenge. It's normally $129. It is on sale for $89. So hello, hello, Laurel, Montgomery County. Are you from Pennsylvania? You're probably really close to me. Um, so those are the announcements. The next challenge is coming up. You don't wanna miss it. It's a great opportunity just to get really dialed in, to get focused, to just have a goal. Olinda, oh, hello, hello, um, welcome to the channel. Um, I was talking to a client um, in the DMs yesterday and she bought a program and she was, she said to me, she goes, Christine, no matter how much I work out, I still have this layer of fluff and I never have abs. Like, why do I never have abs? And I said to her, I said, what's your body fat percentage? And for everybody watching, I am not sure what happened. I hope I didn't lose you guys. Okay, are we here? <laughs> Let me know. Live chat, hello, hello. Okay, so the question I have for you guys is, do you know your current body fat percentage? And the reason why it's so important to understand your current body fat percentage is this is going to dictate how long it's going to take you to reach your goal. And because of that, it is crucial to know how much body fat you can lose on a weekly basis. So this client, like I said, was like, Christine, how come I have no abs? Did you guys know that for a female to have visible abs, for a female to have visible abs, you need to be at or under 13% body fat to have a whole visible six pack. I'm not talking like a two pack. You can have a flat honed stomach, but if you want to see the actual abs, it's 13% for women. For Obviously for men, um, it's quite different, but we're talking about females today. And I said to her, okay, what's your current body fat percentage? And she said, I'm at 30% body fat. I said, do you understand that you're at 30% body fat? Your actual goal is to get to 13% body fat. So you essentially need to lose 17% body fat to reach that goal. And people think like, oh, lose 17% body fat, you, th you might think of that in terms of like losing 17 pounds. How long could it take to lose 17 pounds? When you're losing body fat, it is completely different because fat loss is hard. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Once you get past the first couple weeks where you lose the water weight, you lose the bloat, you lose the inflammation, I'm talking about getting down to the nitty gritty where you're tapping into fat for fuel and holding on to muscle. So. How much body fat can you lose in a week? If you are 100% focused, dialed in, I'm talking like you're not drinking alcohol, you're sticking to your macros, you know, plus or minus, I'd say 10%, and you are making a very concerted effort, you're working out at least five times a week, you're getting at least 10,000 steps on average, you can do so, you can lose 0.5% body fat per week, 0.5. So in the case of this client, 
for her to go from 30% body fat to 13% body fat, that's 17% fat she needs to lose. How long is it going to take to lose 17% body fat? 34 weeks at 0.5% per week. So she's like, oh my goodness, 34 weeks. That's like roughly what, nine months. Um, the thing is, you have to keep going a lot longer. And it really frustrates me sometimes when people are like, Christine, I'm working so hard. Oh my gosh, nothing's changing. But the thing is, it is changing. It's just, you're not holding on long enough. So for instance, if you started working with me, let's say you're at 35% body fat and you've been doing really good job. Let's say you're doing a good job for about four to six weeks. And for you, that's a big deal. And it is a big deal. But in four to six weeks time, how much body fat could you lose, right? We're talking about maybe two to 3%. And to go from 35% body fat to 32, 33, how different are you going to look? You'll look a little different, don't get me wrong, but you have to hold on longer. So th this is, here's the message I'm trying to, to tell you guys. Stop trying to cheat the grind. You have to hold on a lot longer. It doesn't need to be insane. It doesn't need to be extreme, but it does need to be consistent. And too many of you guys are just doing this yo-yo willy-nilly back and forth where you stick to something for a couple weeks and then something happens and then you're all distracted and then you get back on and you get back off and you get back on and you get back off. That doesn't work. You really need to go to distance. And I don't know who needs to hear this today, but it's, it's sobering to hear that you can lose 0.5% body fat per week. And if any of you are not sure what your current body fat percentage is, I do encourage you to get it tested. But even if you just want a ballpark, if you just want an idea of if you just want an idea of where you're, you're at, what you can do is you can text me, um, you can message me a photo of yourself to my Instagram account. And I'm just saying this, I'm gonna say this once. Anyone who trolls this channel will be banned. I am banning anybody from the channel who is distractive, dis disruptive. Does hormonal belly consist of most of the body fat? The answer is no. There, there is fat in so many different places in your in your body, and your cells are made of fat. Believe it or not, the 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 lip the layer of your cell membranes is made of fat. So like, it's fat is in your skin. Fat is in so many other areas than just what we think of as visible, visceral stomach belly fat. Yes, that's a part of it but it's not the whole picture. Um, I wanna translate this to you guys in terms of inches, because I think that's something that's a little bit easier for us to wrap our minds around because not everybody has a good calibration of body fat percentage because getting an accurate body fat percentage reading is quite difficult, if that makes sense. Um, a lot of scales that measure body fat, they're not very reliable. But what, what we can relate to is a waist measurement. What we can relate to is a pant size. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break it down for you like this. If you're doing one of my programs, let's say you sign up for the next Shred Challenge. This Shred Challenge starts on March 11th, and there is an early enrollment discount, and that discount ends tonight at midnight. So if you want to join, you get custom macros that change every two weeks. You get a workout for the home or gym. Um, it's all app based. You get um, access to my private Facebook community. You get access to my weekly group Zoom call and you get to compete for prizes. So that's awesome, right? So let's say you sign up for the Shred Challenge. Realistically, you can lose three inches off of your waist in six weeks time. And that's assuming you're metabolically healthy and your adherence is on point. Now, some folks who have a slower metabolism, who have an extra layer of difficulty, you might not lose that much. But I'd say on average, I'd say 80 to 90% of people should be able to lose half of an inch off of your waist per week. And that's great. That is an excellent rate of progress. Who watching this right now would love, like just love to be able to be like, 
three inches are gone from your waist in six weeks. Like, that's pretty legit. Like, you will feel that difference. Your clothes will fit differently. And I think that you got a 28.3 BMI. And here's the thing. Don't beat yourself up for where you're at right now. I, I understand the temptation to be frustrated, to be down, to be sad, to be angry, to just feel so defeated before you even start. But listen, you can't control the past. You can't control the past. All you can do is impact the present and impact the future and make better choices. So what I encourage you guys to do is to utilize something like one of my challenges to establish habit changes because the real reason why you're not where you need to be you're not getting your workouts in you're not eating correctly you're not eating in a caloric deficit you're not getting the correct amount of the right nutrients so here's the thing do we want to sit around and, and cry about it and complain about it and be sad or do we want to put in the work and do something about it because you have to choose your hard and i've said this before but do you want to experience the 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 pain of just feeling like, ugh, or do you want to experience the pain of fighting forward? And to me, the, the answer is obvious. You definitely want to fight forward because loathing in self-pity gets you nowhere, guys. And I understand it's so tempting to feel bad. It's so tempting to be like, well, screw it. I might as well eat all the things. But with that attitude and with that mindset, you're not going to get anywhere because the reality is six, six weeks from now, you could be down three inches in your waist. If you do that again and repeat shred challenges, you could be down six inches in your waist. I'm telling you, my most successful clients are the ones who do back-to-back -back shreds. What are the no-nos for shredding? You mentioned metabolically healthy, but any other conditions? I'm not sure I'm understanding the nature of your questions. Are you talking about boundaries within the programs? Um, because for example, you're not to drink alcohol on the shred. Alcohol, it's not about the calories when it comes to alcohol. Alcohol pauses your ability to metabolize fat for 48 to 72 hours. Um, that That's a big reason. There's a lot of folks who, again, it's not gonna impact weight loss. It's going to impact fat loss and Fat loss is what makes you look very, very different. Um, Van Hughes says, I went through an injury and gained fat and lost muscle. I look in the mirror and see a stranger. I need to get stronger and firmer. And I'm really sorry to hear that you endured an injury. I know that is not fun. I can't imagine what you went through. But what I want to tell you is that start by dialing in your nutrition dialing in that nutrition you guys need to have set goals to follow because if it cannot be measured it cannot be improved if you're just trying to eat healthier you are wasting your time trying to eat healthier is not going to deliver the half inch loss per week it's, it's not going to happen and it doesn't magically happen my friends this is one of those things that you need to make it happen and we can't live in this mental state of disillusion that you just think like, oh, it's just going to deal with itself or, oh, I'm just going to restrict myself for a certain period of time and then it's just magically going to be better. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. This needs to become a lifestyle change. You need to be more consciously aware of how you are eating. Um, surgery, can you follow the shred immediately after or is it unsafe? No, you can absolutely positively follow a shred um, following surgery and I have tons of clients who do so. Um, what I would need to know from you is if you're going to be completely sedentary and if you are completely sedentary, I would probably, you know what, I would probably just follow the shred as is to be honest with you. Keep your metabolism high, you don't need to do it aggressively. Um, You're down 108 pounds doing a Mediterranean diet and you never felt like you were on a diet. That's wonderful. Um, naturally, Shay, I purchased the hormone reset plan. Does the challenge have macro specific to the person? The answer is yes. Um, I'm just wondering if it's beneficial outside of the hormone plan. So what I would encourage you to do, so the challenge starts on the 11th, which is March 11th. 
Today's February 23rd. I would do the hormone reset. I would start now. I would definitely start like right away. And I would sign yourself up for the challenge because by the time you've gone through the hormone reset, you will be so primed for fat loss that you'll have a much better experience. The hormone reset is one of the best possible things you can do to prime your body for fat loss. Yes, you're gonna lose inflammation. Yes, you're gonna lose that hormonal belly. Yes, you're gonna boost your insulin sensitivity. Yes, you're going to lower your cortisol. Yes, you're going to boost your metabolism, but it makes fat loss easier afterwards um, because you're improving your liver function and fat is oxidized in the liver. Fat is oxidized in the liver. Um, so we are talking about realistic rates of fat loss today. What is a shred? What would I be doing at home? Need special equipment. So the shred is the shred challenge is a six week challenge where you receive customized macros based off of the answers to your challenge form. So it's custom to you. You get new macros every two weeks. You get a Homer gym program and you choose that. And for home, you're going to need some dumbbells, some resistance bands, body weight. And that's basically it. I mean, it might be helpful to have a bench, but as long as you have dumbbells, as long as you have resistance bands and things that you can um, utilize, that would be fine. Um, I really appreciate you guys. And if anyone is interested, I, I, I want to encourage you to really join the challenge because I know a lot of you guys have purchased my programs. You have the shreds, you have them in your email, but like you probably haven't dusted them off and actually did it, right? The distance between you and your goal is the action that you're not taking. So how many of you guys are just on the fence? You're thinking about it, you're thinking about it, you're thinking about it. Do you know how much time that you're wasting thinking about it when you could have just made progress by now? And I say this because there's nothing fun about being uncomfortable in your skin. There's nothing fun about feeling defeated. There's nothing fun about feeling unattractive. There's nothing fun about feeling undesirable. There's nothing fun about not recognizing yourself in the mirror. There's nothing fun about not being able to, to bend or being like getting winded walking up a flight of steps. Like not taking care of yourself is not cute. It is not the look in 2024. And I don't know about you guys, I don't care how much money you have in the bank. If you don't have health, if you don't have vitality, if you don't have your physical and mental well-being about you, you have nothing in my opinion because you need health. There is nothing more crucial and essential than health. And in this last seven days, I have, I have heard about four different people dying. <laughs> from things that could have been prevented with dialed in nutrition. Um, I helped you so much before you're about to get back on the train. And girl, I'm so glad the real Vivia, I do invite you to join the next challenge because the challenge is, it, it, it's where we do what we say we're gonna do. We actually do it. And it feels good to have a day one. It feels good to be like, okay, this is the workout I'm gonna do. Okay, these are the macros I'm gonna follow. Okay, I'm going to attend the weekly Zoom calls every night because your cup needs to be filled. When I say that, your cup that feeds your mind positivity, your cup that tells you, okay, I need to stay consistent, that cup that like, because guys, it does not take much to get off track mentally. You guys know what I'm saying? like. You can be cruising along, doing great with your goals, and then boom, something happens in life. And then you're all discombobulated, your goals go out the window. And the thing is, we have been allowing too much grace for that stuff. Does that make sense? We've been allowing too much grace for that, and we haven't been firm enough to be like, you know what? I have a goal. I need to be disciplined. I have boundaries, and this is what needs to happen for me. And it's 
hard to find people like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like how many of you guys have people around you that are disciplined, that are focused, that are driven, that are after their goals, that are going places? And I, I mean this sincerely. Now, some of you might, but I'm gonna guarantee you most of you don't. I guarantee you most of you do not know go-getters. Like, I mean it, like personally. Do you personally have go-getter type people in your sphere of influence, in your head, in your ear, pouring positivity into you? You probably don't. And, and be honest with me. Like, you could say, I don't. Or comment, or how about better yet? Comment the word me, M-E, if you don't have that around you. Um, radically tubular says I'm 5'9", 155 pounds, have high cholesterol and prediabetes. What are the best workouts? I've purchased one of your food programs. So I feel like food is covered, but I don't know how I should be moving. Um, radically tubular, it would be way cheaper for you to just join the challenge and to even just for the workouts because um, right now there's an early enrollment price to get the workouts for your macro type, I strongly encourage you to join because that way we can do that. And obviously you would get custom macros. You get to be part of the weekly Zoom call, get to participate, but I really feel like that would really help you out a lot. So all you need is dumbbells. Is there a certain weight for the dumbbells? Obviously it's going, you're gonna need a, a decent working range for your dumbbells. I would probably say you wanna get the heaviest, practical ones that you can manage. I would say at the bare minimum, you're going to need at least 20 pounds. Andy says, the only thing holding me back from the hormone reset is giving up caffeine. I know it's pathetic. Andy, it's not pathetic. I <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second. It's not pathetic. What I would encourage you to do, start cutting back before you do the reset. So maybe take a week and, or two weeks and be like, if you could at least get yourself to the point where you're down to one cup of coffee in the morning, or if you're just at the point where you're not drinking coffee after noon, that's going to be a really good starting point. That's going to make a very big difference. So we have that. Um, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is, hold on friends, I need to plug my phone in before it dies. So hold on one second, don't go anywhere friends. Um, but to the person regarding the caffeine, what you want to do, what you wanna do is I would encourage you to start by Cutting back to one cup of coffee, how, and you should be fine with that. And then I would encourage you to switch to half-calf and then to decaf. Does that make sense? And you can do it, and I understand that pain because I feel that, that very same pain. Shannon says, where do you sign up for the challenge? You sign up on gaygirltraining.com. Do you guys want me to show you the website? Let me know and I will flip the screen and show you guys where to sign up. Actually, let me show you guys real quick just so there's no concerns. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera. All right, so we are on gagegirltraining.com. Um, it prompts you to check out my book, Unlock Your Macro Type. And here is the extension sale. So um, the one-on-one -on -one coaching offer limited spots, it's $499. You have to use the code SAVE300 because it's $799. Um, basic enrollment, this is originally $129. You have to use code SAVE40. So all you need to do is just go right to that website, click there, sign up. Um, can I pin it? Let me see. I should be able to... Can I pin it? Mm, I don't think, you know what? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I wonder if one of you guys could type 
the type the website name for me and maybe I could pin one of your comments. Um, the real Viv Vivia says, honestly, yeah, most people don't have go-getters and motivating people around them and it's so hard to stay on track. It is so true. Um, and da, 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 how much water should I drink per day? I recommend a minimum of two liters is the first time for me here. What does coffee have to do with it? Um, we were talking about the hormone reset protocol, which is a protocol designed for women with hormonal imbalances, particularly hormonal belly, which is stubborn belly fat in the lower abdomen. And one element of that hormone reset is giving up caffeine for 21 days. So somebody here is doing that program. But the, the thing that we're talking about right now, though, is realistic rates of progress. Hang on, friends. So here's what I want to tell you guys. Losing half of an inch per week off the smallest part of your waist is doable. It's doable. How much sugar can you eat a day? I would recommend no more than 20 grams per day. Um, the, yeah, no more than 20 grams. So I urge you, I invite you guys to join the, join the next challenge. Again, it starts on March 11th, goes through April 22nd. There is one spot left, I believe, for the one-on-one -on -one coaching offer. Oh, thank you guys very much. I don't know, like my hair just decided to behave today. This literally took like five minutes to do. Um, but I wanna see you guys succeed. I wanna see you guys healthy. I wanna see you guys happy. And I wanna see you guys going about your goals in a way that is realistic and sustainable for you. And the reality is it's not going to happen unless you focus. It's not going to happen unless you make it happen. It's, it doesn't, it's hard, my friends. It can be hard to get into that mindset. And I know that a lot of you guys have, I'm gonna call it a very high activation energy. How many of you guys feel like when you're trying to get yourself into a healthy groove, I call it kicking and screaming. Do you guys know what I mean by that? Like there's a part of you that just wants to rebel. There's a part of you that just wants to say, screw it. There's a part of you that just wants to eat what you want to eat. And you don't want to think about it and you don't want to be bothered and you just want to do what you want to do. And why does it have to be so hard? And you're like, ah, right. <laughs> but yet at the same time, you hate that you're busting out of your jeans. You hate that you have like, like armpit, like cleavage. You hate the fact that you can't zip up certain clothes. You don't like the way you look naked. Like, Guys, if you're in that boat and like you're just so discontent with your body and I think that some people when they get very discontent with their body, they start to dress differently. They start to behave differently. Meaning I found this trend in my clients where when you're out of shape, when you're not in a good groove with your nutrition and training, I find that people take less photos of themselves. Do you know what I'm talking about? Maybe you don't take as many selfies. Maybe you don't want your photo taken at all. Like maybe if you're in a, um, maybe if you're in a, getting a group photo, you like never want your photo taken. And, um, and it's just, it's no way to live because ultimately at the end of the day, you're compromising yourself. You're compromising yourself. You're losing a part of you each day that you don't prioritize. Do you know what I mean? And it sucks. And and I get it. You want to eat what you want to eat. And you don't want to have to try that hard. And you kind of low-key resent the process. You low-key resent the fact that... And you know it's going to take a minute. And you guys know what I'm saying. Like... You know it's going to take some time. It's not going to happen overnight. You know you're going to have to be consistent. And I'm going to tell you guys something. I am not coming to you as one of those people with incredible genetics. I am not the type of person that this shit comes easy to me. It does not. I want to be 1,000% clear. I am not that girl. I've never been that girl one day in my life. I wish, I wish I could be that person. And how many of you guys know people 
where stuff just comes easy to them. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they try to lose weight, boom, they lose weight. It just, it, that resistance, it's just not as hard for other people as it is for you. And you're eating 1500 calories a day. You work out 40 to 60 minutes a day, Pilates three times a week, your weight isn't moving. It isn't necessarily about the weight, it's how you wear the weight. It's about your macro split. I'm not sure if you've ever counted macros. I would need to dial in and know a little bit more information about you. But if macros are an aspect of your program, it is very possible that you need to dial it in. So if you're at about 25% body fat, um, I'm so excited that you just signed up and I look forward to supporting you. Um, if you're at that point where to go from 25% body fat to 20% body fat, you have to dial it in. I'm going to be very honest with you. You have to dial it in. It's not going to happen magically on its own. It, you're, this is where the devil's in the details. But, but the thing is, even if you're counting macros, the macros that you're following may not be optimal for your body. Does that make sense? And which is why I wrote my best-selling book, Unlock Your Macro Type. Um, and take care. Have a great day at work, The Real Vivia. I hope that you're able to join the next challenge. Have a nice afternoon. Um, high protein, low carbs. Again, it still sounds like it needs to be dialed in. Yes, and that's a good point, Krista. Um, take measurements as well. Um, now, I want to steer this conversation back to how do you get over that activation energy needed to be successful? Um, for those of you guys who are just joining, welcome. It's Christine Hironic, food scientist and chemical engineer. I'm going to ask you all to take two seconds to give this live stream a thumbs up. I think you have to hit the, the three dots at the bottom and then just do the thumbs up because it really helps here on YouTube. It helps me so much and I really appreciate it, friends. But how do you get past that mental slump where you're like, okay, something's got to change? you need to get to the point where you are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And what has worked for me in the past, I'm going to tell you guys what's worked for me. And I'm going to tell you guys what works for some of my clients. For me, I need to get to the end of myself. I need to get to the end of my BS. I need to get to the point where I am so sick and tired of being sick and tired. Does that make sense? You need to get to the point where you're sick of your own BS. And everyone's threshold is different for that, right? Um, for me, I had I was I was in a slump last year um, in the summertime. I have a lot going on personally. I'm not gonna get into that. And I was having a conversation with someone very close to me and they said something to me that offended me. And the, the reason why I was so offended is because it was true. Does that make sense? Have you ever been offended by something when it came to like your health, your fat loss, your whatever? And you want to think that the person's being a jerk, but the reality is they're actually being honest. And the reality is maybe you did gain weight. Maybe, maybe you're like some, um, sometimes you need to see a photo of yourself. Sometimes you, like, I think everybody has a different breaking point. And until you reach your own breaking point where you're like, enough is enough. Like this cannot go on anymore. I cannot believe I let myself get to this point. And I think that it's it's so crucial to understand that you almost have to low key hit rock bottom in a way to change. I, I find um, it's great to have goals, it's great to be motivated, and it's great to have discipline. But um, Lar Laurel says I had a cancer scare and it lit a fire inside me. I had a client a couple years ago who lost her mother, um, lost her prematurely due to a health issue. And that snapped her into reality real hard. And I'm sorry you had to have that experience, Laurel. Um, but sometimes, like, we need to have these, like, rude awakenings. I, I had a client um, contact me yesterday who I haven't been working with in a long time. And she's, how, how tall is she? She's, like, maybe 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, 
She's normally in the 130s and she hit um, 180 pounds and that's, that's, that's her all time high weight. And she's just like, Christine, I cannot believe I am at 180 pounds. And I think everybody has a different weight in their brain that is just an unacceptable standard. And when you're like, how did I get here? Like what the what? Like, and as women, I think that we can understand that how we can let ourselves go because sometimes it's easier to feel numb it's easier to just numb your feelings. It's easier to just try to sweep it under the rug than it is to actually do something about it. And the thing is, what gets measured gets improved. And one of the hardest experiences that I have, and same with my clients, it's taking those day one photos when we do our challenges. Has anyone here ever done one of my shred challenges? If you haven't, I do invite you guys to join. It's a lot of fun. It's just nice to be locked into a regimen. Again, it starts on March 11th, but the hardest part of it is taking those day one photos because on day one, you take a front side and back photo and we post those photos in our private Facebook group. It's not to the public. It is only for clients, active, paying, gauge girl training clients in that group. And to actually look at yourself and see this is where I'm at. This is what we got to do. Like, ooh, how many of you guys know that if you took progress photos of yourself today and had to post them inside of a private Facebook group, and I mean this sincerely, how many of you guys would struggle with that? I struggle with it every time, unless like I've been in a really consistent groove, which I have been, but I think, you know, when, when you need to sign up for something like this, you're kind of not where you want to be to begin with. So, but that part is hard, but I feel it's kind of like this ripping off of the Band-Aid. And that ripping off of the Band-Aid is the first step to making real progress. So I encourage you guys to, to stop shying away from your current situation. Um, here's the winning combo. The winning combo is when you come to a place of humility where you're like, okay, oops. Come to a place of humility where you're like, all right, something's got to give. I have to change. It's going to take time. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to show up one day at a time, one day at a time. And there's something about that humble grind where you just know you got to keep showing up. You may not be where you want to be, but you're going to trust the process. And how many of you guys have truly surrendered to the process? I think some, some of you are kind of in that kicking and screaming headspace where you're like, why is this so hard? Why do I have to do all this work? Why is this going to take so long? And guess what? The longer you wait to, to take care of the situation, the longer it's going to take until you're at your goal. And guys, two months of this year have practically gone by already. How much further along would you have been towards your goals if you would have started on January 1st? And I mean this sincerely, how much further would you have been if you would have just started already? So the choice is yours, my friends. I don't want you guys to have regrets. I don't want you guys to spend another day uncomfortable in your body. And I want you guys to understand that realistically, this is going to take some time. Now, are there faster ways? Are there shortcuts? Are there this? Are there that? The answer is yes, but it's not sustainable. I am not going to set you guys up for failure for a short-term solution that is not going to drive you home to long-term results. I won't do it. I won't do it. I know that I could quadruple my enrollment if I guaranteed that you would lose 30 pounds in six weeks. And I, yes, I could get you those results, but I'm not going to do that to you because it's not sustainable and it's not healthy. So that being said, if any of you guys need to do some soul searching, you really need to think about what your goals are, what your body needs, what's best for you at this stage in your life. I do challenge you. Let's do this the right way. Let's do this the healthy way. And let's do this in a way to move the needle forward towards your goals. I love you guys. I want to see you happy. I want to see you succeeding. And I want you guys to get off of that fence 
and to just start putting in the work because it's it never gets easier. It never gets easier. So have an amazing day, my friends. Visit gaugegirltraining.com to enroll. And if there's any other questions or concerns, you guys can message me directly on Instagram or you guys can shoot me an email, info at gaugegirltraining.com. Peace out.